Hi, in today's video I would like to show you few movements which will help you to reduce or get rid of so-called sway back posture. Uh, I'm showing you the very beginning level exercises. I used to do the, that exercise for myself, as you may know or may not know, I, I was suffering from that condition. That was the reason actually why I have destroyed my lumbar discs on the very young age of 18 years old. On the very surface level, when we will analyze the patient, I've seen it just hundreds of times, it will look like that. The body mass that was shifted forward and because of that it's being distributed on your toes. Hyperextended knees, forwardly rotated pelvis, even though it's not that obvious for people. And of course the lower back being pushed forward. You know, it's just a matter of time when you will develop some form of injury on, or, or, or problem or pain. Why did it happen? Because we don't, we don't take much into the consideration how to sit correctly, how to stand correctly, because of Western civilization will influence us in a very negative way and a lot of times it would reflect in that way on our body. So today I will show you some few exercises, but remember you just beginning level exercises, you still need to work with someone. But I promise you, if you will do this exercise correctly, you will feel and you will see the results. First thing first, put yourself into this position, which means 90-90 degree angles in your knees and in your thighs. This is not 90 degree angles and this is not 90 degree angles. Place your position yourself more or less like so. Now, Put your feet on the wall, take the ball, this should be a small ball, put between your knees and gently squeeze it. Remember, don't kill the exercise, don't use all of your power, it is not a bodybuilding exercise. Glue your feet up to the wall and by doing so, just lift your pelvis up this much. Look at this. Bam! This is enough. Right now I feel my lumbar spine is slightly compressing to the, to the floor. And now I feel, I feel these muscles are engaging. Now I'm holding this position and while holding that, I'm breathing. So inhale through your nose and a long strong exhale through your mouth. Now I run out of oxygen, I wait two seconds and I do inhale. The point being is that while waiting two seconds, we have we put additional pressure into that muscles of your abdominal, which helps to move your ribs down to the floor. And did this compression of your ribs and of your abdominal wall helps you to put your to put your pelvis in more neutral position. Of course, both coupled with your legs. Now, if you have done these exercises, you can do two, three sets of these and you can, you can start to do the next movement that I am about to show you. So exercise number two is meant to be a little bit more difficult and the difference is that in the previous exercise we had 90 degree angle in our thigh and now I want to this angle to be more opened and because of that I will ask you to put your feet on the wooden desk, like wooden block, like so. And please keep your both feet in very close contact with that block. Don't lift up your toes, don't lift up your heels. Like it should be completely glued to the ground. Now put your ball between your knees and just like in previous time, gently compress it. Don't squeeze it as much as you can, just gently compress it. Now what you have to do is to lift your pelvis up this much of the floor of the of the ground and maintain that pose within the during the entire exercise so i lift my pelvis slightly and i'm feeling these muscles are being engaged meaning biceps 
And now I'm breathing. Breathing through your nose, breathe out through your mouth. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. I run out of oxygen, I wait two seconds. All right, five breaths will, count, will be counted as a one set. Do these two sets and you are good to go towards the more difficult exercise. So pretty much staying against the wall. Make sure that between your heels and the wall is not a, it's a very short distance, like a couple inches, something like that. Bend both knees, put the ball between your knees, slightly compress it. Now do the slightly a posterior pelvic tilt. Don't do like that. Don't round your lower back. It's not, not necessary here. Just do that. Bend both knees. Shift your body mass backwards on the heels and feel it that you did it. Now, when you feel it, and you feel that most of the weight is being distributed on the heels, try to gently rely on that wall with your lumbar spine. So, if I will push the piece of paper or, or my hand, I'm not going to be able to do so if I am doing that exercise successful. If I am capable of pushing something in that gap, if you have a gap, it means that it is being done not correctly. So stand in that position and now just feel that the frontal part of your legs are working and the back part of your legs are working. And remember that you have to use the same principle from the previous exercise, which means even when you are standing, you should have the, an, intention, an intention to do that, okay? All the time. Again, ball, ball between the knees, bend your knees, posterior pelvic tilt, rely gently on the wall and feel the tension here and here. And remember not to use and not to rely completely on that, uh, on that wall. Just gently touch it. And just breathe in and breathe out. Do five, six breaths and repeat that two, three times. And remember again, I will repeat myself over again. It's very important not to rely like that because otherwise you will not complete and fulfill the movement. So the world it gives you small assistance, nothing more. All of the load should be switched over to your legs. And of course, body mass on the heels. So pretty much the last movement from this beginning program, stand against the desk or stand against the counter, put your elbows on the counter. Now the very important thing is not to fully rely on that with your body mass. So it's forbidden, it's not allowed to be like that, okay? It's just for giving you the balance and, and for you not to fall forward. But it's not for relying on that, right? So. Put your feet parallel to each other. Don't put like that. Don't put like that. Now, do that. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth and squat down with your knees moving strictly forward as much as is possible. Now, I don't, I cannot go further because if I will, I will detach my heels from the floor. It's forbidden. So you do as much as possible without lifting your heels up. So again, again.
So, so when you squat down, hold on yourself in this position for three seconds as long as you exhaling with your mouth. Okay, do these five, six repetitions and do these like two, three sets. And remember, when you go down, you, it's forbidden to do this. It's forbidden to lose the, lose the contact of your heels. It's forbidden to do that. It's forbidden to do that. Okay? Only straight and parallel knees towards each other and parallel feet towards, towards each other. That's what you should do. Alright, I hope it was helpful and I'll see you on another video.